tukawafanya mataifa yote kuwa wanafunzi mkiwabatiza na kuwafundisha kuwashika yote niliyowaagiza asema bwana na wakaribisha katika ibada ya leo tunaposherekea siku kuu ya mtakatifu Mateo mitume na mwijiri ndio tutasema utukufu ibada hii imeombwa na Ajuris family kwa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu Jennifer Kirigo Christopher Kizito wakiomba kwa mahitaji ya kipekee na Ian Kiriga kwa uponyaji wa haraka Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Amina. Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote Viwe rohoni mwako Ndugu zangu tujute dhambi zetu tuweze kujiweka tayari kumtolea Mwenyezi Mungu sadaka takatifu Na kungamia Mungu mwenyezi nani ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri dekla daima malaika na watakatifu wote nanyi ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumie atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Amina. Bwana utuhurumie. Utuhurumie. Kristo utuhurumie. Kristo utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Utukufu kwa Mungu juu biguni na amani duniani kwa watu aliyowaridhia. Tunakusifu, tunakuheshimu, tunakuabudu, tunakutukuza tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya utukufu wako mkuu. E bwana Mungu, fame wa biguni. Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E bwana Yesu Kristu, mwana wa pekee. E bwana Mungu, mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Mwana wa Baba, mwenye kuondoa dhambi za ulimwengu, utuhurumie. Mwenye kuondoa dhambi za ulimwengu, pokea obi letu. Mwenye kuketi kuume kwa Baba, utuhurumie kwa kuwa dile uliye peke yako mtakatifu peke yako bwana peke yako uliye juu kabisa Yesu Kristu pamoja na Roho Mtakatifu katika utukufu wa Mungu Baba amina Tuombe E Mungu kwa huruma isiyosemeka ulipenda kumchagua mtoza ushuru madhayo apate kuwa mtume mtakatifu utujalie na sisi tukitegemezwa na maombezi na mfano wake tukufuate wewe na tustahili kuabatana nawe kwa nguvu zote kwa jia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawana nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele amen somo katika barua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Waefeso Ndugu zangu mimi niliyemfungwa kwa ajili ya Bwana na wasihi mpange mwenendo wenu kadiri ya wito mlioitiwa Mvumiliane na kupendana kwa unyenyekevu mwingi kwa upole na saburi Fanyeni bidii kuhifadhi umoja wa roho kwa kifungo cha amani mwili moja na roho moja kama mlivyoitwa katika tumaini moja ndio wito wenu kuna bwana moja imani moja ubatizo moja tena Mungu moja ndiye baba wa wote aliye juu ya yote na katika yote na ndani yenu nyote 
lakini kila mmoja wetu amepewa neema kadiri ya kipimo alichojaliwa na Kristo naye aliweka wengine wawe mitume na wengine wawe manabii na wengine wawe waeneza injili na wengine wawe wachungaji na walimu kusudi kuwatayarisha watakatifu wafanye kazi ya kutumikia ndio kujenga mwili wa Kristo hivyo sisi sote tufike umoja wa imani na kumfahamu mwana wa Mungu hata tuwe watu wakamilifu na kukomaa katika kimo kamili cha Kristu mwenyewe neno la bwana sauti yao yaenea duniani kote 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 mbingu zinaueneza utukufu wa Mungu anga linaitangaza kazi ya mikono yake mchana huupasha mchana habari hiyo na usiku huujulisha usiku sauti yao yaenea duniani kote sauti yao yaenea duniani kote hakuna neno hakuna usemi wala sauti yake haisikiki lakini uvumi wake waenea duniani kote na maneno yake hata mipaka ya ulimwengu sauti yao yaenea duniani kote sauti yao yaenea duniani kote shangilio la injili Aleluya 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 Tunakusifu e Mungu tunakushangilia kama Bwana Jeshi tukufu la mitume linazimba sifa zako e Bwana Aleluya 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 Bwana awe nanyi Awe roboni mwako Somo katika somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na madhayo Wakati ule Yesu alifuata tena njia akaona mtu amekaa forodhani jina lake madhayo akamwambia nifuate naye akasimama akamfuata baadaye alipokaa kwake mezani watoza ushuru wengi na wakosefu walikuja wakaketi mezani pamoja na Yesu na wafuasi wake Mafarisayo walipoona hayo waliwaambia wafuasi wake Mbona mwalimu wenu anakula pamoja na watoza ushuru na wakosefu Aliposikia hayo alisema Wenye afya hawahitaji daktari bali wagonjwa Basi nendeni mkajifunze maana ya maneno haya Nitakayo ndiyo huruma sio sandaka maana si kuja kuwaita waadilifu bali wakosefu Injili ya Bwana Sifa kwako Sauti yao yaenea duniani kote Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema Karibuni katika tafakari yetu ya leo kumhusu mtume Mathayo ambaye alikuwa mmoja wa mitume kumi na wawili wa Kristu na ndiye aliyeandika injili ya Mathayo Mathayo alizaliwa Kapernaum na alikuwa mtoza ushuru kama tulivyosikia alikuwa meketi Vorothani alikuwa mtoza ushuru wa mfalme Herode Antipas jina lake lingine ni Levi na kuna uwezekano wa kwamba jina madhayo ambayo inamaanisha zawadi ya Mungu 
gift of Yahweh alipewa na Kristo kama vile Kristo alimpatia zawadi ya Mungu aliitwa na Kristo akiwa forodhani akaacha kila kitu na kumfuata nataka siku ya leo tujiulize nini tunaweza soma kutoka kwa huyu mtume madhayo mimi mwenyewe nimejifunza mambo matatu na ya kwanza ni kwamba kila mwanadamu ana begu ya uzuri seed of goodness kuna rafiki yangu mmoja tulikuwa seminari pamoja lakini yeye hakuweza kuendelea tukiwa katika hali ya a sharing kwa grupu inaitwa Fokolare alituambia kwamba siku moja akiwa tu seminarist alikuja Nairobi na akaibiwa simu akaibiwa pesa alipofika huku town hakujua afanye nini lakini alikuwa anajua alikokuwa anaenda kwa anti yake akatafuta mtu anaweza msaidia akaona msichana mmoja hapa tu karibu na sisi hapa Koinange akajipiga kifua na akasema wacha nione kama huyu msichana atanisaidia unajua wasichana wakaidi Koinange saa tano, saa sita, saa saba usiku wanafanya nini lakini yeye kuogopa alisema acha nijaribu nione kama atanisaidia kamkaribia akamwambia mimi mimi nime, nimeibiwa sina fea na nikitaka kusaidiwa msichana akampatia moja na akamwambia ningetaka uombe kazi yangu kazi siku hizi inaendelea vibaya sana kazi si nzuri kisha huyo msichana akamwambia mimi sifanyi hii kazi kwa sababu naitaka niko na tamaa kubwa sana ya kuacha hii kazi nipata kazi ingine niweze kuwalisha watoto wangu wawili walioko nyumbani huyo seminari anakamwambia mimi nitakuombea lakini sitakuombea uendelee na hii kazi itakuombea uiache kwa sababu umenisaidia kama si wewe singejua si ningefika nyumbani aje hiyo ni ya kwanza ya pili mnakumbuka wakati alishababu wali walivamia Westgate watu walikuwa wanakatwa masikio yanarushwa huko chini kuonyesha vile wanateswa na mkubwa wa alqaeda mkubwa wa alqaeda ni mkubwa hata kuliko alshabab akaanza kulalamika kusema kwamba hicho ni kitendo cha unyama sana kumaanisha kwamba ndani ya mkubwa wa alqaeda hata kama yeye kikundi chake huyo mkubwa wa alqaeda aliachiwa kazi na Osama bin Laden hata kama yeye alikuwa akikosi cha terrorism alikuwa anajua kwamba hicho ni kitendo cha unyama kumaanisha katika roho yake kuna utu and there is a seed of goodness hayo ndiyo tunayojifunza siku ya leo kwamba hata kama madhayo alikuwa mtoza ushuru ndani yake kulikuwa na seed of goodness kwa sababu alipoitwa na Kristu aliondoka mara moja tumesema jina yake inamaanisha zawadi ya Mungu labda wana wa Israeli ama wayahudi walipomwangalia waliona mnyanyasaji waliona tu mtoza ushuru lakini Kristo alipomwangalia aliona zawadi ya Mungu that seed of goodness na kwa kweli madhayo alikuwa zawadi ya Mungu na hiyo ndiyo sababu aliweza kuiandika injili ya madhayo ambayo tunajifunza mambo mengi sana labda kuna watu wanakuangalia wanaona ubaya wanaona masengenyo wanaona ukora wanaona ulevi wanaona ufumbavu lakini jiulize siku ya leo Mungu anaponiangalia anaona zawadi gani Mungu anaponiangalia anaona uzuri mgani na labda kuna watu ambao ukiwaangalia unaona ubaya tu labda kuna mtu amekukosea unaona unamchukia una pia siku ya leo ni vizuri kujiuliza mtu kama huyo 
anaweza kuwa na uzuri mgani katika maisha yangu labda ni mtu wa familia labda ni mtu kazini ama labda hata kanisani kwa jumuiya yako jiulize mtu kama huyu anaweza kuwa na uzuri gani usione tu ubaya usione tu ubaya kama vile wana wa Israeli waliona mtoza ushuru na mnyanyasaji kwa madhayo acha kila kitu alipoitwa nifuate aliacha kila kitu na kumfuata inamaanisha ya kwamba alibadilika alibadilisha hata lifestyle yake alichofanya madhayo ni metanoia total turn around about turn aliyofungua ukurasa mpya katika maisha yake alibadilika kiasi cha kwamba hata alimwalika Kristu na, na marafiki wake katika nyumba yake tangu hiyo siku madhayo alitoa kibango ambacho alikuwa ameweka kwa nyumba yake ama kwa gate yake mbwa kali na usipite hapa and the trespassers will be arrested alitoa alikitoa na akawa, akawalika watu katika maisha yake na akaweza kusaidika kupitia kwa maisha yake wengine walipochagua kurudi nyuma kama Petro vile alirudi nyuma akasema kuanzia siku ya leo mimi narudi kuvua samaki madhayo hakurudi madhayo hakurudi tujiulize siku ya leo Kristo anatuita kutoka kwa biashara gani ama kwa tabia gani mwibaji moja akasema mwambie farao nimeokoka sitarudi wapi sitarudi tena Misri Mungu ametuita na ametuita tubadilike kabisa metanoia amekuita kutoka kwa tabia gani ama kwa biashara gani na ya tatu ni kwamba tunapompenda Kristu tunafaa kumpenda kwa roho yetu yote kwa moyo wetu wote na kwa nguvu zetu zote hivyo ndivyo madhayo alifanya na ndio sababu siku ya leo tumevalia hii rangi nyekundu kwa sababu alipompenda Kristu alimpenda na maisha yake yote na akajitolea mhaga hadi akakufa kwa sababu ya Kristu leo tumuombe Kristu hili anapo Twitter tusirudi nyuma hili anapo Twitter tusipeane vizababu madhayo aliodoka mara moja hakupeana vizababu ama hakupeana visingizio hakusema lazima familia yangu ile aliondoka mara moja na kumfuata Kristu pia tumuombe tuombe kupitia kwa huyu mtakatifu madhayo ili wale ambao wamerudi nyuma waweze kungundua jia zao tena na kumfuata Kristu bila kurudi nyuma tumsifu Yesu Kristu milele na milele amina
Salini dogo ya sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E Bwana tunapoadhimisha siku kuu ya mtakatifu Mathayo tunakutolea sala na dhabihu zetu. Tunakuomba kwa unyenyekevu uitazame kwa wema kanisa lako ulilolitunza katika imani kwa mahubiri ya mitume wako. Kwa jina Kristu Bwana wetu. Amina. Amina. Bwana awe nanyi. Awe rohoni mwako. Inueni mioyo. Tumeinua kwa Bwana. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Ni vema na haki. Kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufana na kuleta wokovu. Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e Bwana, Baba uliye mtakatifu Mungu Mwenyezi wa milele. Wewe mchungaji wa milele, uliachi kudi lako, bali walilida na kulitunza siku zote. Kwa jia mitume wenye heri lipate kuongezwa na mawakili kuongozwa na mawakili wale wale wa mwanao uliowaweka kusimama kama wachugaji kwa sababu hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu malaika wakuu pamoja na viti vya enzi na miki na majeshi yote ya malaika wa biguni Waiba utenzi wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho. Mtakatifu, mtakatifu, mtakatifu. Bwana Mungu wa majeshi, bingu na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako. Hosanna juu ya bingu. Barikiwa naye kuja kwa jina la Bwana. Hosanna juu ya bingu. E bwana kweli mtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote tunakuomba uvitakatifuze vipaji hivi kwa nguvu ya roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwini na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo yeye alipotolewa na kuingia kwa hiari katika mateso yake alitoa mkate akushukuru akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema toaeni mle nyote ko dio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kushukuru tena aliwapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mnywe nyote. Hiki dicho kikobe cha damu yangu. Damu ya agano jipya na la milele. Itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi. Fanyeni hivi kwa ukubusho wangu. fumbo la imani. E bwana tunatangaza kifo chako na kutukuza ufufuko wako mpaka utakapokuja. Kwa hiyo e bwana tunapoadhimisha ukubusho wa kifo na ufufuko wake mwanao tunakutolea mkato wa uzima na kikobe cha wokovu. Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetustahilisha kusimama mbele yako na kutumikia. Pia tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na damu ya Kristu tukusanywe na roho mtakatifu tupate kuwa jamaa moja. E Bwana, ulikubuke kanisa lako lililoenea popote duniani. Ulikamilisha katika mapendo pamoja na Baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Filipo na Waklero wote. Wakubuke pia ndugu zetu Walio fariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko na marehemu wote walio fariki dunia katika huruma yako uwapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba utuhurumie sisi sote ili pamoja na Maria Bikra mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mwake huyo Bikra 
mitume wenye heri mtakatifu Mateo na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kusifu na kutukuza kwa jia mwanao Yesu Kristo kwa jia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote milele na milele Amen Kwa kulitia gizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu liye biguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama biguni utupele leo mkate wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea tutie katika kishawishi lakini tuokoe mambo E Bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na thabi. Wala tusifadhaishwe na jabu lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele. E Bwana Yesu Kristo liwaambia mitume wako Amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa. Usizitazame thabi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako. Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unaishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amina. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Iwe rohoni mwako. Mwana kodoo wa Mungu uondoe dhambi za dunia uturumie Mwana kodoo wa Mungu uondoe dhambi za dunia uturumie Mwana kodoo wa Mungu uondoe dhambi za dunia tujalie amani Tazama mwana kodoo wa Mungu, tazama awadawae dhabi za ulimwengu, heri yao waliolikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kodoo. E bwana, sitaidi ndio kwangu, lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itapona. Mwili na damu ya Kristo zitulinde tupate uzima wa milele. Amina. Mwili wa Bwana Yesu chakula cha mbingu ni chakula cha roho chenye uzima Mwili wa Bwana Yesu chakula cha mbingu ni chakula cha roho chenye uzima Hima uwe nasi e Bwana Yesu ukatushibishe chakula bora ni chakula cha roho chenye uzima ni chakula cha roho chenye uzima Yesu alitwambia kuwa tumpoke ni chakula cha roho chenye uzima Yesu alitwambia 
คูวาจุมโปเกมิจักุลาจารุเจเยอูซิมาสุเจตวามินินิมุลิวาเกปิยาตวามินินิดามุยาเกนิจักุลาจารุเจเยอูซิมา尼扎库拉扎罗，切耶乌兹玛，耶稣阿里卓米亚，耶耶尼扎库拉，尼扎库拉扎罗，切耶乌兹玛，耶稣阿里卓米亚，耶耶尼扎库拉，尼扎库拉。เจนยูซิมังอานิลาเอมิมินาคุญวาดามุอาณาโอซิมาวัสิกุโซเตนิจักุลาจารุเจนยูซิมังนิจักุลาจารุเจนยูซิมังนิจักุลาจารุ Chen ye uzi ma. Sala baada ya komunio, roho ya Kristo initakase, muili wa Kristo uniokoe. Damu ya Kristo inichangamshe maji ya ubavu wa Kristo yanioshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu yanizidishie e Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche usikubali nitengane nawe na adui mwovu unikinge saa ya kufa kwangu uniite uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako nikutukuze milele na milele amina Sikuja kuwaita waadilifu bali wakosefu asema Bwana tuombe E Bwana tumeshiriki furaha ya wokovu ambayo mtakatifu Mathayo alifurahia alipompokea mwokozi nyumbani mwake kwa karamu utujalie tufanywe wapya daima kwa chakula chenye chake yeye ambaye hakuja kuwaita wenye haki bali wenye dhambi wapate wokovu anayeishi na kutawala daima na milele Bwana awe nanyi awe rohoni mwako na misheni vichwa vyenu pokee baraka Mungu aliyewajalia ninyi kusimama imara juu ya misingi ya mitume, awe radhi kuwabariki kwa maombezi na mastahili matukufu ya mtume Mathayo. Amina. Yeye aliyewajalia ninyi mafundisho na mifano ya mitume, awafanye mashahidi wa ukweli kwa watu wote chini ya ulinzi wao. Amina. Kwa maombezi ya mitume Mjaliwe kufikia urithi wa makao ya milele ninyi mliyodhibitika katika imani kwa ajili ya mafundisho yao Amina. na baraka yake Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu iwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima Amina Ndeni na amani mkaitangaze injili ya Bwana Tumshukuru Mungu Holy Virgin, by God's decree, you are called eternally. 
that he could give his son to our race. Mary, we praise you, hail full of grace. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. By your faith and loving accord, as the handmaid of the Lord, you undertook God's plan to embrace. Mary, we thank you, hail full of grace. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Capuchin TV Huduma Katoliki ya Uinjilishaji Na pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu na ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5106678 account name caps tv My name is Brian Gitonga. I'm a student at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. The environment at Catholic University is so serene, peaceful and very clean, which is so ideal for learning. We have numerous resources which make learning ideal for students. My school's culture is based on Christian ethics and morals. It has made me become more decisive and has improved my social life on how I interact with my peers and the society in general. So happy and grateful to be in choir and this is the best place to be. Enroll at Catholic University of Eastern Africa for courses in nursing, law, business, economics, computer science, education, community health and development, actuarial science, international relations, counseling psychology, regional integration and theology. September intake ongoing at Langata and Eldoret campuses. Email admissions at queer.edu or visit queer.edu. Queer for innovative marketable graduates. Calling all kids, big and little, it's showtime! Enjoy all your favorite shows and movies, unlimited fun across multiple channels. Get on board for big and bold adventures. Now it's time for a breakdown. Subscribe now to the Aerial Classic Bouquet at only 899 shillings for over 75 channels. Or Dish Smart Bouquet at only 999 shillings for over 105 channels per month. Maximum entertainment at a happy price with Star Times. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. Capuchin TV Huduma Katoliki ya Uinjilishaji Na pia ni washukuru tena kwa support
St. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is committed to restoring hope and dignity to needy young people through dignified training towards self-reliance. We empower young women and men to be active job creators by equipping them with pertinent knowledge and skills in catering and accommodation, food and beverage management, housekeeping and laundry, among other short courses. Support our training programs by sponsoring a needy student at St. Therese Vocational Training. Send your contributions to the pay bill number 186298. Use your name as the account name. Or to Ecobank, account name St. Therese Training Center, account number 0243205019254. Nine two zero three, or contact us on zero seven two two three zero six zero three zero, or zero seven three nine three zero nine five nine three for further inquiries. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and He will repay him for his deed. Proverbs chapter nineteen verse seventeen. Your support will be highly appreciated. Capuchin TV, your Catholic broadcasting ministry. Be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord of all time. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I rejoice and come in. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear friends, today we are celebrating the feast of Saint Matthew the Apostle and Evangelist. Saint Matthew was a tax He was called to be among the apostles. And today we celebrate him and it is a reminder to our own call as Christians. Jesus calls us every day to be and to follow him, to carry our crosses and follow him. We also join with our prayers the Anjuri family in thanksgiving. We join Jennifer Kirigo in special intention, Christopher Kizito, special intention, and we pray for Ian Kiriga, who is sick that he may recover quickly. 
We know we are sinners. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate this Mass worthily. I confess to Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy we are pleased to choose as an apostle Saint Matthew, the tax collector, grant that, sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, I, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all, and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And his gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipment of the saints, for the work of the minist for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. 
There are songs for us all here. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded. Their sound goes forth through all the earth, their message to the utmost bounds of the world. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. The glorious band of apostles sings your praise, O Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, as Jesus passed on, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he sat at the table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his, to his disciples, Why does your teachers eat with the tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick go and learn what this means i desire mercy and not sacrifice for i came not to call the righteous but sinners the gospel of the lord God is good in all the time. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthew, one of the four evangelists, one of the twelve apostles. And what is interesting from the gospel of today is the generosity, the promptness with which St. Matthew himself writes about his response to the invitation by Jesus to follow him. There must have been something in Jesus that struck St. Matthew in a very special way. I'm sure this was not the first time they were meeting. St. Matthew must have listened to Jesus on more than one occasion. Otherwise, we might conclude that he's a very rash man in just jumping at the first occasion. But what is recorded in the Gospel of today is the fruition of something that he had carefully thought about. And when finally that invitation is made by Jesus, he doesn't hesitate at all. He leaves everything and follows Jesus. And from then on, he will spend the rest of his time with Jesus and go on after Jesus has left to become one of those great apostles that we read about in the Gospels. Maybe one thing we can ask ourselves as we celebrate this feast 
is what is it about Jesus that has made a deep impression on us? St. Matthew didn't tell us what made a deep impression on him. We just know the consequence of that deep impression. But I think for each one of us we can ask ourselves, what is it about Jesus that has made a profound impression on me? Why do I follow Jesus? It's something we need to think about. Because if we don't think about it, we will not be as generous as St. Matthew was. All of us should have in our mind something about Jesus that really attracts us to him. And we find very compelling. It's interesting when you read about the story of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. The fact of Jesus hanging on the cross and saying those words, I thirst, had a very deep impression on her. And she realized that Jesus was thirsting for souls. And that became her lifelong ambition to help Jesus get those souls. Each of us must have something about Jesus that makes a deep impression on, one, on each one of us. And the first reading today, taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, kind of gives some consequences that flow from that deep impression that Jesus has on us. The first thing St. Paul tells us is that if we are serious about Jesus, then we take our vocation seriously. Each of us has a vocation. Some of us are called to the priesthood. Others are called to the married life. Others are called to the religious life. Whatever it is that God calls us to, we take it seriously. In fact, St. Paul tells us, live in a manner that is worthy of your vocation. That's one natural consequence. And we'll see in the life of St. Matthew that once he made that decision, he became one of the great apostles. We need to take our vocation seriously if Jesus has made a deep impression on us. The second consequence that St. Paul points out to us of taking Jesus seriously is the fact that our way of thinking changes. We become People who think like God, what we call in the spiritual life, a supernatural outlook of life. We can't be purely human in our thinking. We can't be hustling all our lives. We have to think like God thinks. We have to see things as God thinks. We have to look at our lives as a calling by God. We have to interpret the things that happen around us from the light of God. We know that God is deeply involved in everything that happens around us and nothing happens around us unless he chooses for it to happen. And we have to start thinking in that way because sometimes we can be very horizontal in the way we think. Everything is about life here on earth. Everything is about survival here on earth. There's another dimension we have to learn to think about and we have to see. That's the second consequence of having Jesus make a very deep impression upon us. Well, the other thing that St. Paul notes in our relationship with Jesus is the fact that we become very united among ourselves. There is no way Jesus can make an impression on us and we are not united 
among ourselves. We have to, like he says, we are one body. We share one faith. We are one. And we have to see ourselves as one, called by the same Lord, given the same spirit, called to the same vocation to be holy. That has to manifest itself in the way we live among one another. We can never talk ill of one another. We can never hurt each other. We have to go the extra mile to make the lives of the other comfortable. We have to be generous in the way we spend our time for the others, the way we spend our resources for the others. And when we talk about resources, we mean everything that God has given us, our mind, our heart, and even our material resources. That's a natural consequence of having known Jesus, having encountered Jesus as Matthew did. And then one last consequence. I would probably say the most important of them all. I'm not saying the others are not important. But one consequence of meeting Jesus is that we call our friends to the feast. When Matthew was called by Jesus, the first thing he did is throw a party. And when he threw that party, he invited all his friends. They told tax collectors and sinners surrounded Jesus. If we have found something that we think is beautiful, if we have found something that we think is meaningful, if we have found something that we think gives meaning to our lives, it's only natural that we share it. It's only natural that we tell other people about Jesus. It's only natural that that deep impression that has been made on us manifests itself to others in our joy and we share it. This one thing that Matthew teaches us is to spread the good news of Jesus to others. In the gospel today, he did it by inviting them to listen to Jesus. But even later on in life, he sat down and wrote a whole gospel so that that message that he had received from Jesus might be known the world over. And true enough, it's known the world over. You and I have to bring people to Christ. You and I have to do apostolate. You and I have to make Jesus known. If we don't do that, something important in our life is missing. We begin obviously with the people God has placed closest to us. My spouse, my children, then my friends, and the circle keeps widening and going wider and wider. But we must do it. If we don't do it, it means Jesus has not made an impression on us. Jesus is not someone we look at as the answer to the deepest yearnings of the human person. Maybe we can ask in Matthew today, as we celebrate his feast. Make me an apostolic soul. Help me draw other people to Christ. By my way of life, by my word. And let's ask Mary, our mother, who was also very apostolic. We notice many times in the Gospels, people, or in the New Testament, people would come around her. There was something about her that they found very attractive. And she took occasion, or she took advantage of those occasions to teach people about Jesus. Let's ask her also to help us live that apostolic life because Jesus has made a deep impression on us.
In bread we bring you, Lord, our body's labor. In wine we offer you, our spirit's grief. We do not ask you, Lord, who is my neighbor, but stand united now, one in belief. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the memory of Saint Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles through christ our lord the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, do humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Matthew, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Archbishop, David, his Auxiliary Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, and we, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked, for defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come unto thee, that with the angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen.
I did not come to call the just, but sinners, says the Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray. Grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who come to call not the just but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace, the Mass is ended. We wish you a blessed day. Capuchin TV, your Catholic Broadcasting Ministry. Na pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi baby number 510678 account name caps tv
You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Spice up your entertainment with Star Times. Enjoy playtime and special surprises on our kids' channels. The thrill of Hollywood, Nollywood <laughs> and Bollywood movies. The rivalry, sensational goals from Europe's Supreme League, the Bundesliga. Win hearts with passion from the best telenovelas. Whether it's wildlife or lifestyle, you get maximum on Star Times with no price increase. Subscribe now to the Aerial Classic Bouquet at only 899 shillings for over 75 channels. Or this Smart Bouquet at only 999 shillings for over 105 channels per month. Maximum entertainment at a happy price. Dear friends and people of goodwill, peace and goodness, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Father Arnold Shirema. I am the superior of the Capuchin Brothers in Kenya. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our annual Family Day fundraising in aid of the construction of our regional custodial house at our headquarters at St. Jude's Chapel, Westlands, Nairobi. The fundraising will be held on 7th October 2022 at St. Jude Chapel in Westlands. The Holy Mass for this occasion will start at 3 p.m. East African time. The Mass will be celebrated by Right Reverend George Mutaka, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Garissa, and thereafter we will have the fundraising. This event will be live on Capuchin TV and on our social media platforms. Come all and support our Capuchin brothers. We kindly request for your financial support on M Pesa Pay Bill number 7062-1200. Four, accounts name, put your name. May Almighty God reward you abundantly as well as blessing you and your family for your generosity and for supporting us in our mission of spreading the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Trust, Compassionate, House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near J. Quat, Campus Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, individual counseling, youth counseling, Addiction counseling. We have psychosocial training. We also offer retreats. We have a hall that can be used for seminars, 
and workshops. And we also have accommodation. We welcome all from far and near because the accommodation will offer. You will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself. Welcome all because our prices are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaquant, current campus. You can call us on 0743878151 or 0711681425. Our email is cancelled.